it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing another review. Today I'll be reviewing SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider V3. Kamen Rider V3 comes from the 1973 show Kamen Rider V3. When Shiro Kazami accidentally witnesses a murder, he becomes the next target of the sinister organization known as Destron. When Destron mortally wounds Shiro, Kamen Rider 1 and 2 are forced to turn Shiro into a cyborg. Shiro Kazami is reborn as Kamen Rider V3. So, if you all have not done so already, definitely take a look at the 1973 show Kamen Rider V3. It is simply fantastic. But, nonetheless... SH Fig Arts, Kamen Rider V3 is another fantastic release in the Fig Arts line. Kamen Rider V3 has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first, take a look at Kamen Rider V3's accessories. Kamen Rider V3 comes with a pair of open hands, a pair of chopping hands, a pair of holding hands, a pair of signature pose hands, a set of individual hands, one V3 hopper, one V3 hopper holster, a pair of dynamic scarves, and one flame pillar kick effect part. So first, take a look at the open hands. The open hands have a fantastic sculpt with fantastic paint-ups going on. Very nice stun cast and a very vibrant white here and a nice glove-like appearance. So definitely very cool. Next pair of hands are the chopping hands. Same great sculpt. Same great paint-ups going on. So very nice there. The holding hands here. Very nicely done. Definitely very cool. Finally, we have the signature pose hands here. Absolutely fantastic again. So definitely very cool. For the set of individual hands, the first hand actually plays in with the signature pose hands here. So this is definitely very cool. So very nice. We have the two fingers together. So very nice there. Then we have a pointing finger hand. So definitely very cool because V3 does point at his enemies. So very nice there. We'll kind of focus that a little bit. So definitely very cool. Then finally, we have the V3 hopper holding hand. So again, same great sculpt. Same great pamps going on. So very nice. How is attached via our ball joint peg system? So we'll grab V3 here. Pop off the fist, like so. And I must admit, it's kind of hard to swap hands on this figure, so do be careful. So we pop that fist right on off. We'll focus that. Put on our new hand. And peg it in like so. And let's see. A little bit tough. Let's see if we can get that. Because I hate to have the ball joint kind of switch up on you, because that might break, so... See if we can focus that. We'll try yet again and apply even pressure. So there we go. So definitely very cool. The next accessory is the V3 hopper here. It's very nicely done. A very small accessory, but definitely very cool. We'll zoom in and focus that some. As you can see, we have V3 on the front of that. So definitely very cool. And this is held by the V3 hopper holding hand very nicely. So we'll put that up there, slide it right into the hand. And it is held pretty firmly. We'll do that the right way. There we go. So definitely very cool. It's very nice. The next accessory is the V3 Hopper Holster. So again, this is a very small accessory that goes a very long ways and gives us a sense of realism here. So we'll focus that. It's pretty basic and very simple, but this is for an added sense of realism. So we'll grab V3 here. As we all know, there are not two V3 Hoppers. So what we have to do is... We'll pop this right on out, put in the new empty holster here, and now we have an added effect of realism here. So, pretty cool. Very nice. The next accessory is the pair of dynamic scarves. These are very nicely done here, very dynamic, nice creases and folds. Very nicely done. Now, to attach these, we'll grab V3, peg them into his back here, so we'll pop that one in. Like so, and we'll go ahead and just do both of them at the same time. We'll kind of zoom out some too. Pop this one off. We'll pop on our other one too. So now the wind is blowing fiercely around V3. So this is definitely very cool and very nicely done. This is absolutely mandatory for all our Kamen Rider figures. So very nice. The final accessory is the flame pillar kick effect part here. This is absolutely fantastic here. Very nicely done and absolutely fantastic sculpt. So it's surging with flames and energy. So it's definitely very cool. Very nice red to light red gradient. So very nice. Now to attach this, this is a little bit finicky and tough to do, but we'll go ahead and just kind of try and see what happens. So first what we're going to do, we're going to separate this into three parts. We pull out this piece here on the side, pull out this top part. We have three pieces. We'll grab V3 here. And what's tough about this you have to put the foot inside of this base pretty much perfectly in order for this effect part to come all together. So 
we'll put his foot down there as best we possibly can. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our first big piece. There's a hole here in the bottom of this that lines up with the hole down here, and if it's not lined up perfectly, this will not adhere at all. So we'll try it, it's kinda of tough, but if you try hard enough, you'll get it in place. So we'll see what happens against the first try. So we have that down. I'm confident I'm not gonna get this, so just bear with me. So get that in. We'll just see what happens. We'll peg this piece right on in. And, mm, nope, it's not gonna go. So we have to have the holes lined up perfectly, and it's all about how you put V3's foot down inside. So we'll give it one more whirl. So we'll push that in as best we can, make sure that toe's down there flush. Like so, as you can see, we'll put in this piece and we'll put in the other piece. So hopefully we can get this this time around. And hmm. I don't want to force anything. I'm afraid I'm going to break something. So, but we'll kind of go past that. But still, you get the gist. So it's definitely very cool. Just takes a lot of effort and finessing to get in there perfectly. But still, very nicely done. So... Now we have Kamen V3's accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Kamen V3 figure itself. Kamen Rider V3 has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first, let's start with the head. So we can look left, we can look right, very high up, very far down. Nice rotation going on the shoulder joint. Arms rotate 360, arms come out 90 degrees. There's an entire arm swivel going on. Very nice double jointed elbows. The fists are on ball joint pegs, so we can tilt and spin these freely. In the upper chest, we lean backwards significantly and twist side to side slightly. In the upper chest, the breast paddles can move also, so definitely very cool there. For the legs, we kick forward about this much initially. If we pull it on the hip joint, we can extend that range of motion significantly as well, so very nice there. Very nice double jointed knees. The feet tilt and swivel, and the toes are articulated as well. So we have a very nice, hyper-articulated Kamen Rider V3 figure. This is very nicely done. In terms of sculpt and paint apps, is absolutely spot on here. Very nice vibrant red, very nice vibrant green, very nice emerald green for the compound eyes. So you can see, very nicely detailed here. We'll focus that a little bit. Very nicely done here. This is absolutely fantastic. Very nice detailing going on for the belt as well. So this is definitely very cool. An absolutely fantastic sculpt and an absolutely fantastic representation of Kamen Rider V3. So this is very nicely done. So, now we have the Kamen Rider V3 figure out of the way. Let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, SA Figure Arts Kamen Rider V3 is another fantastic release in the Figure Arts line. Kamen Rider V3 has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I highly recommend that everyone picks this figure up. Also, if you have not done so already, definitely take a look at the 1973 show Kamen Rider V3. It is simply fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.